Hello, this is Vanessa DeBerle and welcome to my channel, Affiliate Marketing Mastery, where you can learn to earn a passive income and you can learn to earn that passive income guilt-free. We're going to talk about three tips on how you can avoid spam with your affiliate email marketing. I also have put my playlist below. I've done other emails about email marketing that you might want to check out as well. So let's go over the, first of all, we want to go over the definition of what is spam in email marketing. And basically think about when you get that junk mail in the mail that you don't want. In snail mail, this is a junk mail online where you're getting all these different emails into your email account that you didn't ask for so that's basically what spam is it's when somebody is sending out thousands or millions or you know a huge bulk amount of emails to different people who really didn't ask to get it so that's pretty much what spam is the autoresponder the person who or the company that's responsible for sending that does not want to send spam it's it, it's about their integrity that's not what they're set up for they're there to help people send emails it, it is for marketing and things like that but they don't want them to go out randomly and uh, cause a, a spam so if you do certain things then you're going to be shut down and considered spamming so you want to make sure you don't get on that spam list that's your goal so these are just three other tips one of them is you want to send smaller lists and what i mean by that is if you have let's say 10,000 people on your email list maybe instead of sending the same email to 10,000 people all at the same time you could break it up and send it in segmented lists so you might send maybe 500 at a time or a thousand at a time at different times throughout the day everybody's getting the same email but they're not getting them all at once therefore doesn't look quite as spammy when I what I mean by segmentation is you might start separating your list of people by interest maybe you don't want to send the exact same email to everybody maybe you have a certain group of people that have different interests you know you've, you've gotten to know them and you can see they fall into certain categories and you might break them up into smaller groups based on interest you could send the same message but tweak it a little bit and send it differently to each list and you may notice your open rates increase when you uh, target them more like that according to their interests so that's something to think about another tip is HTML code we all like that right You've, that doesn't even make any sense to me but some people will try to save money and send their emails out and do their own coding they might be copying them simply from um, Microsoft Word and the coding in Microsoft Word may not be the exact same coding in some professional email providers so it, it will confuse things and then it looks more like spam so make sure you're using a professional email provider and let them do the coding and you just send the email so that a lot of people will try that on their own and it's another red flag for spam here's my last tip for today just to fill it up some people will send lots of images and I know people are visual and they would prefer to look at pictures but that's going to get you shut down for spam this is a good rule here you want 80% text 20% image and this is going to be true even when you post on Facebook or Instagram or any place else and in your email marketing you want your images to only be 20% of the content 80% needs to be text so if you're doing those three things correctly then you don't have to worry about spam if, if any of those are things that you need to tweak then go back and do that in the meantime give me a thumbs up if this was helpful I do have a couple of links below I've got my two favorite autoresponders active campaign actionetics below they both have free trial periods check them out see which one you like better and then there's an affiliate marketing mastery challenge as well and don't forget that playlist below more email videos email marketing videos that I've made they're all in that list below so check them out give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video